Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you an example of load line calculations. As you can see on your screen, it involves the calculations of dock water allowance, the required or permitted sinkage, and the maximum cargo that can still be loaded for the required draft when the ship reaches saltwater. If you are not familiar with fresh water and dock water allowance including the change in draft due to change in water density, I have a video tutorial for this. Kindly check the link in the description. Let us start. Let us solve this problem. Calculate the maximum amount of cargo that can still be loaded on board to be at the summer load line mark when reaching salt water. Giving 50 tons allowance for fuel to be loaded prior to sailing. The ship summer load draft is 6.20 meters. The freshwater allowance is 161 millimeters. The TPC in salt water is 22.14 tons. She is loading in a berth at dock water relative density of 1.009. Her present draft is 5.67 meters. Before we solve this problem, let me show you first a load line mark. Let us assume that this is the ship's load line mark. In this problem, we will be calculating the amount of cargo that can still be loaded in dock water so that when the ship reaches salt water, the waterline should be on the top of the S load line mark in which the corresponding mean draft is 6.20 meters, this is her summer load draft. So our target mean draft when we reach saltwater is 6.20 meters. Let us assume that for the ship's present condition, the waterline is along this load line mark, with her corresponding present mean draft in dock water which is 5.67 meters. For our first step, we will calculate the dock water allowance. The formula is Dock water allowance in millimeters is equal to freshwater allowance in millimeters, times the difference between the relative density of salt water and the relative density of dock water. Divided by 0.025. We need to take the difference of the relative density of salt water and dock water since the ship is loading in dock water and the required draft is a summer load draft which means that it is a draft when the ship is floating in saltwater. For the divisor which is 0.025, that is the difference in relative density of salt water and fresh water, and that is constant. Maybe you see in some stability books that the divisor is 25, that is if you are using kilograms per cubic meter. The difference between saltwater and freshwater in cubic meters is 25. So dock water allowance is equal to 161 mm, times 1.025 minus 1.009, divided by 0.025. The dock water allowance is 103 mm or 0.103 meter. To convert millimeter to meter, just divide 103 mm by 1000. After calculating the dock water allowance, we will proceed to the second step. Calculate the required sinkage or permitted sinkage. We will start with the target draft or required draft, which is the summer load draft that corresponds to 6.20 meters. This draft should be the ship's mean draft and she reaches saltwater at a relative density of 1.025. We will add the dock water allowance which is 0.103 meter since the unit for the required draft is in meters. The sum is 6.303 meters. This is our target draft or the required mean draft when we are loading in dock water at a relative density of 1.009. Next, we need to determine how many meters more will be needed to increase the ship's mean draft to reach the target draft in dock water. We will subtract the ship's initial mean draft when she is floating in dock water at a relative density of 1.009 which is 5.67 meters. The required increase in mean draft or what we call the required sinkage in dock water is 0.633 meters or 63.3 centimeters. We need to convert it into centimeters because this unit is needed for the next step. To convert into centimeters, multiply 0.633 meters by 100, 
and we have 63.3 cm. Let us go back to our load line mark. In this problem, the required mean draft in dock water is 6.303 meters. Let us assume that this is the water line when the ship's mean draft is 6.303 meters when she is floating in dock water at a relative density of 1.009. It means that when the ship departs in dock water with a mean draft of 6.303 meters, when she reaches in salt water, her mean draft will become 6.20 meters disregarding the change in draft due to fuel consumption. This change in the ship's draft is the effect of the change in water density. I have a separate video about the change in draft due to the change in water density and that includes the fresh water and dock water allowance. Kindly check the link in the description. For the third step, we will now calculate the maximum cargo to be loaded. And the formula is sinkage in centimeters is equal to weight divided by TPC. The small letter W stands for the weight to be loaded. To find the weight, it is equal to the required sinkage in centimeters times TPC. But the given TPC is in salt water and the ship is floating in dock water. We will make a correction for TPC. The formula is TPC in dock water is equal to TPC in salt water times the relative density in dock water divided by the relative density in salt water. We have now 22.14 tons times 1.009 divided by 1.025. The TPC in dock water is 21.79 tons. So weight is equal to 63.3 centimeters times 21.79 tons. The total weight that can still be loaded on board is 1,379.307 tons. If we check the problem, we will be loading 50 tons of fuel before sailing. So we will subtract 50 tons of fuel in order to find the total cargo that can still be loaded on board which is 1329.307 tons. That's all for now guys, if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, bye.